goes crazy on URL and a few weeks go by and then I start telling people, yo, I got nothing to do with it. I said, I'm not, I have nothing to do with it because I'm not on good terms with you. So I'm not going to get on here and say anything negative about you because me and you are not even on speaking terms. So my silence is my loyalty. Because if I come across and say anything negative, when when me and you you just flipped out on me, what, 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 how is somebody supposed to perceive that? So when when everybody sits there and says, "Yo, DNA, you didn't do nothing. You didn't say I didn't say nothing because I wasn't even talking to him at the time. So there's nothing to say. Like you have to understand in this whole situation, in this whole ordeal, I'm always the bigger man." I'm always the guy that reaches out. I'm always the guy that puts my pride to the side. I'm always the guy that says, hey, you know, it's not that big of an issue and do that. At some point in time, I'm human. You get tired of doing that. Especially, right? Because that's why I said we're going to get into everything. I'm not going to touch on his situation with URL because that's his situation. And I have nothing to do with that. I still stand on that. So my thing is, aside from everything else I'm saying, Y'all can ask Kayshawn, and I don't know if he remembers this, this deal that he took right now. This deal that he took right now, <clears throat> I told them not to take the deal. So how, how can you how can you sit there and say, yo, DNA, I expect the da 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 bro, the company man, the guy that everybody thinks is down with URL, the guy that, you know what I mean, everybody attaches to URL before you sign this deal, this new contract that you still in, or that you're not in, because I don't know the logistics of it, but I told you not to do it from the beginning. So nobody can sit there and tell me I'm playing URL side when I told my man, because I'm privileged of the information that I know, hey, don't take this deal. And guess what? I didn't tell him not to take the deal because the deal was a bad deal. I told him don't take the deal because times have changed. So deal started with Harry back when it was only four battles a year. So it was privileged for a battle rapper to take a deal. You know why? Because you can get money throughout the whole year because URL doesn't do that many events. The moment I seen URL start doing events every month, hey, Sean, don't take that deal, bro. Not because it's a bad deal, but because if your stock goes up, you can keep asking for more money. You can negotiate because you're on a winning streak. So when anybody says there's malice from DNA, you could go look up videos I started the campaign for Chase K. to be champion of the year. Didn't I? So where 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 was it that I was never the brother that people was talking about? I'm the guy, the one that said, "Yo, my guy, my guy, he hasn't lost a round all year. Award him with that belt. Award my guy with that belt. He's 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 number one right now. He's the best nigga doing it right now. So." <clears throat> what up, man? Chris, I'm about to check him back in, man. Back with the blog, man. DNA uh, dropped a lot of uh, a lot of jewels in his live. If you not checked out his live, go to his channel. Uh, DNA, get money, drink water. Um, he did a whole live earlier today, probably about four o'clock. Talked about a lot of things, man. He talked about their relationships. He said he had issues with URL. I think in like 2019, and he said Shine basically. Um, you know, kind of re-signed a deal with them. He didn't really like try to step in the middle and help that situation, but now he expects him to help his situation now. He said he tried to help the situation, but when it's not beneficial for Sean, Sean be telling him to mind his business and you can't have it both ways. You can't tell me to help out. And then when I help out, whether it's helping out and trying to mediate shit on URL or mediate shit on your side, you cannot then tell me to, to kind of mind my business he talked a lot about Sean uh, not really giving his grandmother condolences when she passed away earlier this year. That's kind of crazy. That man had lost his grandmother and his mom, and it looked it looked like a maybe like a ten month span or something, eight month span or something like that. That's that's wild, man. So I know DNA probably going through a lot, man. Salute to him on that. I hope he's getting whatever he, and he needs to get his mind right for that situation. I can only imagine probably what he's going through with that situation he even said he had to bury his mom this upcoming wednesday so i already know that's gonna be a very touching thing for him but uh what else did he talk about in the live um 
uh, like I said, he talked about his grandmother passed. He said Kayshawn didn't really reach out and, and say anything. He said they, they were cordial. Basically, they ain't really talked in like a year. He said they tried to be cordial. He tried to hit Sean up on Thanksgiving, stuff like that. Sean didn't hit back. But another interesting thing he said was he's the reason why URL was trying to get Sean on Summer Madness. He said he reached out to URL, told them to squash it. Um, they were willing to give Sean more money and an opponent. Now, you know, this is this is a complaint. The complaint is we give you money for battles. You missed a battle or two. So you basically owe us a battle, but we paid you all your money, which technically means that the next time Sean would battle on URL, he would be battling and making no money because he's been paid all his money already. So that's a hard pill to swallow. If I got a deal where I'm paying you $100,000 and I'm paying you for five straight months, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000. And you're supposed to do five battles. Let's say you're supposed to do five battles in a month. And you miss a month. And then your five months is up. We got the $100,000 out of the way, but we don't have the five battles. And then your fifth battle is somewhere later on in the year, another six months later. Whenever you step up, whenever you step on that stage, six months later, a year later, you're not getting a back end or a front end. You're writing your raps really to walk up there and battle for free, even though it's technically not for free. It's hard to come to a venue with raps when niggas know you ain't getting no back end. That's one of the reasons why I was kind of hearing he don't want to battle was because URL paid him all his money. So now the next time he battle, he ain't getting no, he ain't really making no money. So DNA says, well, you know, I talked to URL. URL has, has decided to kind of squash the contract situation and give him some money and put him on Summer Madness. And he said Sean wouldn't, wasn't even willing to have a conversation, pick up the phone or anything like that. So he don't know how he expects Sean to want DNA to help out the situation or take a stand for him when he has reached out, tried to mediate, and Sean won't even answer the phone call to mediate the situation. I think one of the discrepancies is the money because URL could scrap the contract, come up with a new deal. But you see the way Sean talking in these interviews, bro, and they're talking about he wants seven figures to battle. And even in his last interview, he said, it's not personal with URL. We could work things out. But they're going to have to really, really like pay, the, pay what they weigh type stuff because what I'm working on now almost like URL has to match that. And I don't know, bro. It just seemed like if URL gonna feel like they paid you all your money already and you basically ain't fulfilled a deal, they may give you some money. They may give you some money to make it worthwhile, but in your eyes, you may want a whole new deal and $50,000 a battle. I, I don't know, and I just feel like that's probably miles apart. So, uh, man, this shit, this shit actually was kind of, this shit been interesting as fuck, man. I'm not gonna even lie. I want to play you something else that's interesting too. Hold on, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like this interview made Sean look really, really bad, bro. Because it, I mean, DNA had his things in order. The nigga had his dates in order. The timeline in order. He might have stumbled maybe one time through the whole twenty-minute live or whatever. Like he really seemed like he had his facts in order. This ain't no edited video, bro. This is a live video where the nigga's sitting in front of a camera telling you how he feels without any slip-ups. That is hard to do, man. A lot of times niggas be doing that, they really be speaking from the heart. So I kind of feel like um, you kind of want to side with DNA. Like, I hate to take a side because you don't really know. I don't really know what K-Shine is going to do to rebuttal this, but it just seems like like, yo, all DNA was trying to do was try to mediate the situation and be a friend. And he basically said in there, he said, the problem with Sean is a, if you're not a yes man, Sean don't want to fuck with it. Sean want everybody to be telling him he's doing the right thing. He's doing the right thing, even when he's not doing the right thing. But this was an interesting thing right here. Let me find it. Right here. Hold on. Look, my performance. Try this with this. Bro, the cat is out the fucking bag, bro. So Sorry. did you add for anyone did else you, aside yeah. from that? At the time, right. like, who did you think? Um, did you ask for your own replacement? Like, did you um, have names in? in I, 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 um, I did. I don't remember exactly who, but I, I, I gave about a, a, like two or three names that they said they didn't see working at the time. Mm. Like, not no to the match, but like 
And they made me think it was going to happen to fulfill the four names. Right. But it's still, like, it's crazy, bro. It was a string along, yo. You feel what? That clip right there is very interesting to me because I was kind of wondering, like, okay, if you don't want to battle real sick, you don't want to battle twerk, and you don't want to battle she happens, who do you want to battle? And he's just like, well, I can't remember who I gave, the opponents I gave you are real, but I gave them a few names. You know what I'm saying? If you gave two or three names, bro, you should be able to, to say who they are because them niggas are still around. You ain't battled them because you ain't battled. So whoever it is that you will want to battle is still there, but you're still, even in this interview, not giving any names. And sometimes you can give a name that may not work out. Like, let's just say you say Iron Solomon, right? Man, I want to battle Iron Solomon. It's a few people that didn't call out Iron Solomon recently, but there was an interview where Iron Solomon was basically talking about he's working on a family business. He ain't really trying to battle rap right now. I know he wanted to battle surf at one point in time. It don't seem like it's easy to get Iron Solomon back in battle rap. So if you throw a name like that out there, then maybe URL can't make it happen. But I'm... I'm when I hear a clip like this, bro, I'm expecting K-Shine. I'm expecting K-Shine to give me a name. Like, oh, you know, I was really thinking about battling Disaster. I was really thinking about battling Iron Solomon. Because it looks like he doesn't want to battle an up-and-comer. And I told you, he's battled everybody. He's battled everybody. So, the Daylight Battle is off the table. Okay, cool. You don't want to battle Jack Boy. You don't want to battle no up-and-comers. You don't really want to battle Twerk right now. Okay, you didn't battle everybody about Surf, Tay Rock, D, you know, DNA, K Shine, I mean, not K Shine, DNA, Rum Nitty, Danny Myers. I mean, are you trying to battle Lux? You trying to battle Mook? You trying to battle, like, who are, who are you trying to battle that's on your level? Because you keep saying, don't give me people that you're trying to build up. Give me people that's on my level. But who's on your level that you haven't battled that's actually active? And I don't know. I don't know. Because he hasn't given any names. And I think it's telling because. It's like weird because he'll be talking like, yo, it's just crazy, bro, what they were trying to do. Like I'm saying, like, bro, like, bro, like he don't really be saying what it is he trying to say. That's why I said his DNA interview is so telling because DNA sat in a live and literally aired this nigga out for 20 to 25 minutes with, with barely a slip up, bro. On a live video, barely a slip up, just basically sat down there and laid out a timeline uh, these are the things that I do. When you're a blogger, you're able to talk to other people. Like, obviously, I talk to other NWX people and stuff like that. And a lot of them is confirming a lot of stuff that DNA is saying. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really, I don't really want to take sides at the end. It seemed like, <sighs> I'm being real, bro. It seemed like K-Shine's really only gripe, real gripe, because you signed a deal. And D DNA says in, in his live, he says, I told K Shine not to sign a deal. Signing a deal with a blank, with blank names on there, nothing. He says URL can give you who they want to give you because you're still taking the money. This is what he says in the live. He says, every month you're taking the money, you're depositing it. URL is going to expect a product. And when they give you a name, you have to give them the product. And if you're not going to give them a product, you still owe them a product. So DNA is kind of laying it out. He said, I told him not to sign it. He told me, I just got to do what I got to do. This is what DNA says. So I don't know. I mean, how much you want me to go to bat for you if I literally told you before you signed a contract? My nigga, don't sign a contract. How, what do you want me to do after you sign a contract? Now you want me to fight URL for a contract that I told you not to sign ahead of time? So you want me to argue with these niggas when I was trying to tell you What's up? Like, yo, don't do this shit. Everybody know DNA is plugged in. He got the hair situation, all that. DNA is probably one of the most plugged in ballots for behind the scenes business. Caffeine deals, all kind of shit. If that nigga tells you, yo, don't do this shit, don't do it. He probably know what's around the corner, what URL is working on that other niggas don't know. I think Sean kind of got back with Rex and Dot Mob and Harlem and all that kind of stuff. At the time, he may not have liked where things were where the money was, he got with DNA, they did a bunch of two-on-twos, he got with, with NWX, the Harry situation, was on a bunch of cards, made some money, did the two-on-twos, but K-Shine, DNA, Saga, it just didn't feel like a fit. 
the way K Shine is and the way DNA is, they miles apart from the kind of the type of people that you would even expect to be hanging around each other on a regular basis. And I think at the at the end of it all, when there was a little bit of controversy, I think he went back to Rex and Dot Mob in a way, even though he's really zip him up, but I think his his heart was still with like, yo, these day one niggas of Rex and all them kind of stuff. And I think he probably started navigating more over there. Sometimes when you grow up, man, you grow apart from people. That's just the way it is. I got out of jail. This niggas I don't even really fuck with no more, bro. I fucked with them before I got locked up. I got out and it's just like I realized the way they view life ain't even how I view life no more. I just grew I just I'm not better than them and they're not better than me. I just outgrew them in the way they are. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of a lot of that stuff. So I feel like a lot of that happened in this situation. I feel like Kayshawn's really only gripe is honestly the fact that he just showed up for battles where niggas wasn't prepared and he was prepared and he should be compensated something for the fact that Jack Boy was was sick or something. I, you know, I don't know about the daylight shit, but at least for the Jack Boy battle, he should be compensated for the fact that Jack Boy showed up sick. So the next time he battles, maybe he should throw a little extra money on top. Other than that, bro, I haven't heard much in these interviews to let me know. I mean, I, a lot of it is just k Shine just complaining about bad choices he made. If niggas is telling you the contract ain't good, like, why are you signing it? You already know there's no names. It just seemed like he saw that money because he was, he, he keeps saying in the interview, the money was great. I think he said he got 60 grand up front. That's a, that's a lot of money to turn down. Nigga, throw, nigga put 60 racks in your, in, in your, in your motherfucking PayPal and you, and you still get another 10 per month or whatever per month. That is hard to turn down if your finances ain't good. And it looked like that's what he was looking at. So, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I think this uh, I think this makes K-Shine look, look bad. And the fact that it looks like he might have either embellished or lied on DNA, you start to wonder what else is he embellishing in this interview. Because if you watch the interview, other than just saying like, yeah, I shouldn't have done this and this. He's kind of blaming a lot of a lot of different a different stuff. I feel like so. Um, let me know what y'all think, man. Chris, somebody's holler, your boy.